What's going on everyone, Rich Lee here, and today it's time for the ninth episode in Season 1 of my Bayern Munich career mode series where we're going to be taking a look at the mid-season squad report. Before I get into the squad report though, we've got some games to play here, starting out with a game against Wolfsburg in the DFB Pokal. So I really want to win this one, we're expected to win the cup, well we're expected to win everything actually, so we need to win this one. Nothing happened in the first half, so we go straight into the second. Can we get a goal here? We're passing the ball around. Alonso's on the ball now. What's he going to do? Looks down the wing. He's going to try and get a pass away to Robin. He does find him. Robin is going to try and get around his man here. Gets around Dante very easily. He gets around another Wolfsburg player. He's going to go for a shot from the edge of the box. That's off the post. Nearly a very early goal in the second half. As I say, nothing happened in the first half. But we're trying to make things happen now. We get a tackle in there with Lewandowski. And can we make that goal happen now? Lewandowski looks up. He sees Ribery running through. And he pokes it into the back of the net. It's 1-0 to the mighty Bayern Munich. Quality goal there from Ribery. Decent ball through from Lewandowski. Benalio stood no chance whatsoever. He just poked it underneath him. Makes it 1-0 to Bayern. And now we've got another chance here. Vidal plays that through. We should be scoring that one. But it goes wide. We've got another chance here with Lam Crossing it into the box. And Lewandowski, I think it was, got absolutely clattered there. Look at that on the replay. The keeper completely destroys him. And now Wolfsburg have got a chance here late on in the game. Are they going to get a late equaliser? It looks like it. Yes, they are. It's one all. Decent finish there from the Wolfsburg player. Wasn't much I could do about it. He was in so much space. Smashes it into the back of the net. And he makes it 1-1. This one is going to extra time. Who's going to win it? Wolfsburg are playing the ball round now. Dante is on the ball. Looks a bit nervous. We're trying to get a tackle in there. We do get a foot in with Martinez. He plays that across to Lewandowski. And can we get another goal here? Can we make it 2-1? Yes, we can. That was a bit too close to the keeper for my liking, as you'll see on the replay. But we do score that one. Keeper should have done better, I feel. It was right next to his foot, as you possibly see on this replay, but definitely on the third one. And yeah, like I say, he should have done better with that. I didn't hit it as cleanly as I would have liked. But... It is in the back of the net. It is 2-1 to Bayern. And can we maybe get another goal here? We've got control of it with Philip Lahm. They've got the ball back, but they play it straight back to us. Lewandowski's on it. He plays it over the top for Vidal. He's running through on goal now. Surely this is a goal. Yes, it is. It's 3-1. That's got to be game over now. Wolfsburg won't be coming back from this one. We're into the next round of the DFB Pokal. Next up then, we've got a game against Hanover. And this is the final game before the winter break. So let's try and pick up a massive win here. That'll be absolutely awesome. Hanover aren't the best team in the world. We are one of the best teams in the world. So we should be winning this one. But we're quite inconsistent. But we do start the game with a goal through Thomas Muller. I'm not a big fan of his in the game. He does feel very slow, very clunky, but that's his second goal this season. Can he add to that with another one? That would be awesome. Keeper punches that out to Rafinha. He hits it, but it goes way over the bar and into the second half. Thomas Muller is on the ball once again. He goes for the shot, and that's in the back of the net. It's 2-0. It's too easy today. Hanover just aren't providing a challenge. We've got two goals. They haven't really offered anything. They are offering something now, though. Are they going to get a goal back here? They're running through. They play it up top. Is this going to be a goal? No, that's an awesome save from Neuer. They've got another chance here. Is this one in? Nope. They've got another chance. Surely this is a goal. Is it? No, it's another save from Neuer. We've got a chance now, though. Can we get a third goal? That would be awesome. Vidal plays the ball through to Damari Gray. He looks up, goes for the finesse shot, and what a goal that is. That's his first goal for the club. First goal since signing from Birmingham. And that is just an absolute beauty of a goal into the corner of the net to make it 3-0. They're determined to get a goal back here, though. They're running through on goal. They play it through. And finally, they do get one goal. It's only a consolation goal. It's late in the game. They're not going to get back into this one. But they have made it 3-1. And that's the way that the game finishes. Before I take you through the squad report, then, I just want to take a look through the Youth Academy. And starting out here, we've got Christopher Platins. He's 16 years old, 59 rated at the moment, 64 to 82 potential. The next player I'm looking at, then, is Felix Kuchka. He's 52 rated at the moment, 68 to 84 potential. Again, his physical stats are okay. He doesn't look amazing, but he's worth keeping about, and he might come good. 
Fernando Braga is Brazilian, 15 years old, 48 rated at the moment, 79 to 93 potential. So he looks like he could be a top talent for us. Jardim is the highest rated player in the youth academy at the moment, 66 rated with 80 to 94 potential. And if you look at his stats, he's going to be an absolute free kick expert. Look at that, 71 free kick accuracy, 71 curve. Things can only get better, and he looks like he's going to be absolutely incredible. Gregor Vuzelek is 16 years old, 52 rated at the moment with 72 to 88 potential. But if you look at his height, he's only 5'5 five five tall, and he's a goalkeeper. So that's just not going to work out. His stats are okay, but... 5'5", five five, goalkeeper, yeah, that's not happening. Helder Bastos is the shortest player in the youth academy at the moment, 4'9". He's only 15 though, so hopefully he will get taller. He's 50 rated at the moment, 76 to 84 potential, and he's got some promising stats. Jakub Janukovic is 17 years old, 53 rated at the moment with 80 to 90 potential. He's incredibly strong, pretty quick. And I think he's going to be a top talent in the future. Jürgen Meffert is a young German player. He's 17 years old, 52 rated with 77 to 91 potential. His stats are pretty terrible at the moment, but he has got decent potential. So hopefully he will get better and become a decent player. Kevin Bastians is another promising young German player. 16 years old, 54 rated. 78 to 92 potential. Some of his physical stats are absolutely incredible. 76 acceleration, 74 sprint speed, 74 agility and 71 balance. Tech Scherer is 15 years old, 40 rated at the moment, which is pretty poor, but he's got 75 to 94 potential. He's pretty quick. His physical stats aren't too bad and I'm going to train him up massively and he should improve a lot. And here we have Sebastian Tomasik. He's already 60 rated at 15, which is very promising. He's got 83 to 94 potential, incredible curve, decent acceleration and sprint speed, and he is going to be an absolute monster in the future. Last but not least, then we've got Thomas Avansky, 72 to 94 potential. He's got some absolutely awesome stats on him already, and I'm really looking forward to seeing how he develops. Moving on to the squad report then, Neuer remains a 90 rating, Ulreich's a 77, he's not changed at all either. Lukic has gone up by two ratings, but he's still only a 57 rating, so I don't think he's going to be good enough for the future. Rafinha's improving at 30 years old, but I do need to invest in a new right back at some point. I've only got Philip Lahm and Rafinha. They're both quite old, so I do need to bring in some fresh blood. Boateng remains an 87 rating, but none of my centre-backs are improving. Benatia is still an 84. So is Martinez. Batstuber remains an 80. We do have some growth at left-back, though, with all three of our left-backs going up by one rating. Alonso has gone down a rating. 32 sprint speed, 30 acceleration. He is well on track to become the slowest player in the game. Lahm's mental game is on the decline, but his technical stats are still improving. Rhoda remains a 79 rating. Kirchhoff's gone up to a 75. Costa's gone up to an 82. Green has gone up to a 69. Robin's up to a 91, which is absolutely awesome. He's 31 years old and still improving. Thiago remains an 83 rating. Vidal remains an 86. Galdino is up to a 71. He's gone up three ratings this season. He's only 19 years old. He is going to be an awesome player in the future. Kimmich is still pretty young as well. 71 rated at 20. Hoiberg is still out on loan at Schalke, but I'm going to bring him back to the club. He's only made one appearance, so I'm going to bring him back, train him up, and he'll improve a lot more quickly if he's with us rather than at Schalke. Royce remains an 86. Damari Gray has gone up to a 70, so that's absolutely awesome. Kurt has gone up three ratings already. He's 66 rated now. Rebree's on the decline. He's down to an 86. Goethe remains an 84, although he is improving. Muller's still an 86, and I'll probably look to move him on in the summer. And I'm not too sure if Patrick Vyralk has really got a future at the club. He's only 63 rated at 21. Griezmann's technical game is improving massively. Kingsley Coman has gone up to a 71 rating. And Robert Lewandowski's technical game is improving. He's up to an 88 rating. So that's what the Bundesliga table looks like going into the winter break. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you again soon.